This video is an overview of how to initiate temperature, SpO2, and weight measurements using the Midmark IQVital Zone Vital Signs device. Always refer to the appropriate technical documentation for the complete list of instructions, safety alerts, and sequence of procedures before conducting any service or maintenance operations. Temperature The Exergen Temporal Scanner is an infrared thermometer designed for accurate, completely non-invasive temperature assessment by scanning the temporal artery. To initiate a temperature reading on an adult patient, place the probe flush on the center of the forehead and depress the button. Keeping the button depressed, slowly slide the probe midline across the forehead to the hairline. With the button still depressed, lift the probe from the forehead. Touch the soft depression behind the earlobe, release the button, remove from the head, and read. Disposable covers can be used once, and discarded or reused on the same patient. They are available for cross-contamination protection, as preferred for certain patient populations. To use the disposable covers, first apply the cover by pushing it onto the probe head with your fingers. Then remove the cover by pushing the edge forward with your thumb. Massimo SpO2 Massimo pulse co-oximeters deliver accurate pulse oximetry during motion and low perfusion. The pulse co-oximeter is to be operated by or under the supervision of qualified personnel only. The manual, accessories, directions for use, all precautionary information and specifications should be read before use. To initiate a reading, choose a site that is well perfused and least restricts a conscious patient's movement. The ring finger of the non-dominant hand is preferred. Alternatively, the other digits on the non-dominant hand may be used. To attach the sensor to the patient, first open the sensor by pressing on the hinge tabs. Place the selected digit over the sensor window of the SpO2 sensor. The fleshiest part of the digit should be covering the detector window in the lower half of the sensor. The top half of the sensor is identified by the cable. On a finger sight, the top of the finger should touch the raised digit stop inside the sensor. If the fingernail is long, it may extend over and pass the finger stop. The hinge tabs of the sensor should open to evenly distribute the grip of the sensor along the length of the finger. Check the position of the sensor to verify correct positioning. Complete coverage of the detector window is needed to ensure accurate data. Orient the sensor so that the cable will be running toward the top of the patient's hand. With using smaller digits in order to completely cover the detector window, it may be necessary to use a lower weight range sensor. The sensor is not intended for use on the thumb or across a child's hand or foot. Be sure that the patient wears the sensor until the data is safe. Once the sensor is removed, the device will alarm and the value will not stay on the screen if the patient data has not been saved. Nelcor OxyMax SpO2 Nelcor OxyMax technology delivers continuous monitoring with precise SpO2 readings even for patients with weak pulse signals or fragile skin. To apply the Nelcor SpO2 sensor, first place an index finger over the sensor window of the SpO2 sensor with the fingertip against the stop. If the fingernail is long, the nail tip will extend over the finger stop. Spread open the rear tabs of the sensor to provide even force over the length of the pads. Check the position of the sensor. If an index finger cannot be positioned correctly or is not available, a smaller finger can be used. Do not use the SpO2 sensor on a thumb or toe, or across a child's hand or foot. The sensor should be oriented in such a way that the cable is positioned along the top of the hand. The default settings display the SpO2 percentage and 10 perfusion index bar segments. When the SpO2 measurement is complete, the SpO2 value will appear. The SpO2 value continues to update as long as the sensor is on the patient's finger. The signal strength indicator will show if the SpO2 signal is strong enough. If the signal is not strong enough, the display values are potentially incorrect. Weight capture. The IQVidel sum device is compatible with serial connection, medical grade approved digital scales, such as the Midmark 626 barrier free examination chair with integrated digital scale, 
or the Fairbanks Teleway Digital Scale. When a compatible scale is connected to the device through the RS-232 port on the back of the device, IQVitel Zone will automatically detect that the scale has been connected and is ready for use. If the Fairbanks Teleway Digital Scale is connected, the patient may simply stand on the scale and the weight measurement will automatically transfer to the IQVitel Zone device. If the Midmark 626 with digital scale is connected and enabled in the settings menu, a chair icon will appear on the bottom of the screen. Press the chair icon, and from there you may capture a weight measurement, or control the chair movement directly from the IQVital Sum device. For more detailed information about Vitals Capture using your device, please refer to the IQVital Zone User Guide. For further support, contact Midmark Technical Support at 1-844-856-1230, option 2.